some in their system still know the importance of following the bottom line. And certainly the Jesuits know that. And certainly I see no change in the attitude of the Jesuits still. I still see the system trundling along as if nothing is going to change. I still not, do not see the change, the visible, the visible change in their system. So baptism performed in hospitals is an absolute fact, an absolute fact. And what's more, when one is baptised under their argument, one cannot be unbaptised. An infant without reason, an infant without choice, an infant without consent and without full knowledge of the ceremony has these horrible rituals assigned to it and it is for the rest of their life. Now, some may argue that there are opportunities at the age of 7 and 14 and the age of majority to consent or not consent. And we've looked at those. And I'd suggest to you they're false flags. There is no remedy in baptism. There is remedy in pretty much everything else in this system. There is. But when it comes to baptism, there is no remedy. And surprise, surprise, when it comes to the CQVs, there is also no remedy because the CQVs, the Sesego V Trust, created the first for name, the second for flesh to the bank, the third for soul to the church, cannot be dissolved in their system. Well, when you send your ecclesiastical deed polls, you are highlighting the heresy. You're highlighting the fraud. This is a fraud. Let's be clear about it. There has never in the history of civilization, never, ever, in the history of law, been a law that can be sustained based on fraud, nor a law that can be sustained based on an absence of consent and an absence of reason. A baby is an innocent, and to condemn a baby is the absolute heresy of all faith and all religion. And this is something that was created in the 16th century by our friends, the Venetians, the Khazars, these insane people that still run this world and believe that they can maintain a lawful presence. Well, I tell you, their feet are sand, are dust. Their whole system is predicated on fraud. And the sooner people stand up and express that, the better. Because the only remedy you have is to be competent. The only remedy you have is to realise the awfulness of what they've done. And that is the reason for the covenant of one heaven. It is the reason for the life born record. It is the reason we do things. Now, why do we have a, a, a shortened number that adds up? And many people ask me this. Why do you have a number then that adds up to three groups of six, of six, six, six? Because there is a further exposure. If these people, and certainly not the idiots at the front line, but if these people, these Jesuits and others, really do serve Moloch, really do serve Satan, and really do serve Lucifer, remember they're playing a double game here. Publicly, they say we're good, we serve, and all this argument that it's satanic is, is terrible misinformation. Terrible. And yet, tonight, as I've done many, many times, I've shown and exposed, and there's many sites, one-evil.org, that presents irrefutable and, and massive proof that the evils of the world are sourced back to these people. But if they truly serve that, then what does the covenant of one heaven expose? Well, it exposes the end of the argument of hell. It exposes the end of the argument of division between angels and demons. It, it, it actually shows that spiritually heaven is united. 
once more. And because Hamlin is united once more, just as Gabriel is a member, just as Archangel Michael is a member, just as the greatest saints are members, uh, have I dropped off? Hopefully my I have not dropped off. Okay. Just as these are our members, so is Moloch. And because Moloch, and because all the gods and goddesses, because of all spirits, angels, are members, when you issue an ecclesiastical deed poll, You issue it I'm just going to call back because my sound is gone one sec Frank we could we could, oh, he's already gone all right he'll be back on in just a second. Frank? Frank? Hi, I'm back, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hi. Okay. We, could, we could hear you loud and clear. I guess maybe you had a glitch over there or something. But, uh, okay. Anyway, That's ahead. all right. Sorry to drop off, but I'm back on. Look, okay. um, it would happen at, uh, at, a, at a key high point. <laughs> but I, I was just explaining, uh, Terry and everyone, I was just explaining the, uh, the logic behind the number because on the one hand I've explained that the your trust number of course is a piece of time and space but it also is much much more and, and what I was saying is this that under the covenant we make clear that, that heaven is united we make clear that all spirits including the people we're dealing with including these judges lawyers including the people behind the scenes including the pontiff all of them are members, ipso facto, of, of one heaven. But when we issue our ecclesiastical deed piles, when we issue our live-born records, not only is it from heaven, but that number telegraphs to them the absolute authority. And while it adds up to the numbers 3 by 6 or 666, it makes it abundantly clear to them that if they, in fact, serve Moloch, if they claim to serve the dark side, then they must obey and follow the jurisdiction of one heaven. Now, I am pretty certain, based on what we've seen so far, that not only do they not serve the law, not only do they not serve Moloch or any of the dark side, because clearly they, they care nothing for it, clearly in their behaviour, not only do they not... Um, recognize their own law we are dealing with people who are so mentally ill and are so cut off spiritually and historically that they serve nothing but themselves so your efforts in sending ecclesiastical deed polls your efforts in presenting to court the reason for this is so that in history's time it may be a year it may be two years it may be five years but eventually it will be known forevermore that these people serve nothing, absolutely nothing. And your effort proved that because there is no exit. Whether they serve good or whether they serve bad, they are supposed to follow what you present, and they do not. And at the higher echelons, it is willful ignorance, at the lower echelons, we're dealing, unfortunately, with idiots. So I just want to explain that logic of the number again. There's a reason for it. 
a very important reason for it. So baptism, the only remedy to baptism is exactly what you're doing, to prove your life-born record, to prove the fraud of their act. Now, by the end of the year, if they still refuse, then we have the day of judgment. We are still foreclosing. And the news and information of this is going further. People need to hear about what they're doing and the proof of that, even if they still believe that they live in some fantasy land or that it sounds like some terrible conspiracy. Ignorance can, in fact, be cured with patience. Well, rounding off, I want to talk about public and private before I finish, and then we'll leave that for tonight. The way to think about private and public is this, and why they, they talk about separation of church and state. The private is the ecclesiastical. The public is the shop front, is the secular. There isn't a single valid procedure in their system that isn't underwritten by the ecclesiastical. In fact, think of the private as the underwriting. So let's look at it. The public debt goes through the window of the bar unk and is underwritten by the private assets, the SESTA KVs. The instrument that you send, a bill of exchange, the obverse and reverse, the private money is the asset, the public is the, is the window of exchange. There again, the document is the window. The public and private is not in itself an evil concept, but what they've done is that they have hidden the private. They've hidden the source of the power and then confused us so that we are dealing, uh, in many cases, in mixing the public and private. Now, this is an error that we need to make sure that we don't continue. When you go to court, of course, we, in the public, we can nominate what form of law. We can ask what form of law that we are being held under. Unfortunately, we're dealing with such idiot judges, prosecutors and clerks they don't even understand that law. So, again, we're limited by that. The private, again, is ecclesiastical. We cannot mix the two together, and we should not mix the two together. Well, we covered some important things tonight. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm a bit under weather tonight. I'm sorry I dropped off tonight. But, look, I hope, again, in these chats and in the information we're sharing, that it encourages you to keep reading and encourages you that this is certainly not a lost cause. People are not being abandoned. People are not being sent down a blind alley. This is a moment, a very, very important moment, but it hinges really on, on an essential thing. It's not whether I believe I am a divine immortal spirit, but that you know you're a divine immortal spirit that you are part of the divine and that no one can stand above you and that regardless of the idiot behaviour of these people, no one can enslave you, no one can curse you and they certainly don't own your soul. But it's only when you can demonstrate that in honour, without bitterness, without hatred, with honour. And you can demonstrate that to others to help them also wake up. That's when things will change. And whether there is earthquakes, whether there is famine, whether there is flood, these things have come and gone time and time again. But the first time in 1260 years, the first time that this system has been challenged at its root is now. So thank you. Thanks for listening. And I look forward to your questions. Thanks very much. All right, uh, great. Thank you, Frank. All right, just as a, a reminder, those that are on the phone lines, if you'll press star 8, that'll put you in the question queue. And those that of you that are on the chat, if you'll type in question in all uppercase, and then in the uh, proper case, just type in your question after that. That way we can uh, get to those questions from the chat. All right, first we'll go to Washington on the phone. 
Hi.